you feel like you know what the restart rule is if you get in that position this week and is it any different than what it was a week ago uh it might not be different uh they're not going to change anything in the rule book but certainly uh, like any other sport when they say they're going to put an emphasis on something then you, you probably need to make sure it's right so nothing nothing changes from my standpoint i think that uh yeah i understand the rule and uh, you know, we just know that they're going to be looking at it a little, a little heavier for the next little while. You're, you're a sports fan, so you, you can look at other sports and know how the, the saying is to swallow the whistle at the end and let the athletes determine it. Sounds like, you know, from your point of view, that's not going to happen potentially now. Where's the balance in allowing the athlete to determine it and, as opposed to, I mean, look, you're, you know that situation happened in a basketball game last night everybody was talking about. Yeah, um, certainly, yeah, that's, that's, it is very similar to that. Um, you know, the difference is, is, is where I went. Uh, it, it played no difference in the outcome. I, I know that people would like to think that it changed the result, but it, it didn't. Uh, we were side by side in the middle of one and two. So it didn't change anything, but certainly I can understand that, um, you know, the, the heat of the moment. I, I think from my benefit, I think the biggest um, biggest positive I had was that the TV didn't show it. <laughs> that probably was the, the key is that the TV wasn't even looking at the restart when it happened. Do you feel like, do you, feel like you got away with one? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, more than likely so. But again, I, even if I go in the box, I don't think the result changes at all. But certainly, um, you know, when I'm, I kind of explained it on Monday that when I'm looking around at the, uh, you know, in the mirrors and through the side. I just know I'm in the vicinity, so I, I just kind of go when I feel it, it's right to go. Uh, so, it, obviously, when I look back at it, I was like, oh, I was not as close to the box as I thought it was. So you feel like if TV showed it, they may have called it? Uh, maybe, but, you know, luckily for me, they were on the wrong camera. <laughs> did you, uh, have you talked at all with Marcus Smith at all, or did you just kind of let your tweets speak? Yeah, we... We, we did. I mean, we were kind of chatting in the middle of it, honestly. And do you feel like you – was the message like, hey, you know, the teams are asking for more money, the tracks obviously would be the ones to lose it? Is, was there – seemed like that there was a message there, like the teams could do better with the money. Yeah, I mean, under, certainly there was some underlying frustration from my standpoint that – uh, I, I let get the better of me, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, it certainly it didn't need to get personal, uh, but it, it kind of took a turn for that pretty quick. So certainly regrettable uh, from my standpoint. But, yeah, it is, right? I mean, ultimately, between the tracks and NASCAR, there's you know nearly half a billion dollars in profit. And I hate to see that, you know, we're, we're struggling swimming upstream, and, and that's how – you know they they spend their profits. That's just it's it's tough because um, we're in a we're in a fight, right? It's not not pretty, um, not going to be pretty. Uh, so it's there's some underlying frustration there that you know I, I kind of let go out it the wrong way. Did you were there was there anything that pointed you toward the idea that there would be an issue at North Wilkesboro? That yeah, we had a car at the test that they had some issues. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, versus going on the negatives, you know, I'll just tell you the positives, and that is every ISC track that's been paved in the last six has had no patches on it whatsoever. Um, and so they've done a really good job of investing um, their profits back into the racetrack really well. And, you know, let's just kind of learn from this and move on. Do you think there should be a uh, electronic timing line at the restart zone? You know, do you feel like that it can – it sounds like you know they could then judge it exactly whether somebody's jumped or not. Yeah, I mean, but again, especially on a short track, you've got two laps to figure it out. And you know, when it, if it's at Coda and you've got minutes, I think it probably changes. But man, do we really? I mean, we really want that because there's certainly been, you know, there, there's been some, you know, viral ones going around of like some obvious jumps in the last ten years. But I'd say more often than not. I'm going to venture to say 60%, 70% of the restarts have gone before the box. So be, be careful what we wish for. Do you anticipate that NASCAR will tighten the reins on that and, and also on the laybacks? I mean, there's been a lot of talk yeah. about it, but no real action taken. Yeah, I mean, that's. I think they did it with Xfinity, right? I think they told us enough with the laying back. This was after 
uh, I think it was maybe Vegas or, or Kansas, one of those two tracks. We put a wall. We all were like, man, the laying back was getting ridiculous. They, I think they busted an Xfinity guy, or maybe it might have been a cup guy, but someone way in the back. So certainly we know that they're going to be staring at it. So we have to we have to be smart and understand that you know if the same thing happens this week, it will be called. And I saw Joey's like, well, if I do it this week, I'll, I'll be pissed. You also would be dumb because you know that they're looking at it this week. So you'll change your approach? Yeah, I mean, for sure, for the foreseeable future. And, and like I, I told Elton on the side, I was like, I'll make sure I keep it in the box next time. So. <laughs> I mean, if they had taken, if they had penalized you for that, would you argue that call last week? Um, yeah, you could have. But, you know, if, you know, I think that uh, you, you could have, but it, I don't know, would it have been a worse look? Probably, right? That the person that crossed the start finish line first didn't win. But, um, you know, I definitely understand that we, it's a, in the rule book, it's a black and white rule. But I, it's just something that all of us have taken advantage of over the last billion years. And like I said, if you really want to analyze them, I guarantee you over 50% are jumped early. So just caution everyone with that. Good. Good. Happy. Thank you.